Hi everyone, it's Malakuza, and today we're going to talk about how to accomplish your goals. So I'm gonna try to keep it as simple as possible. Um, didn't rehearse this, so if I forget anything, I will include it in the caption, okay? So let's go, ready? <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness, okay. So um, here's the thing, I want you to get out a piece of paper um, or on your phone, whatever is easier. Like, don't literally don't complicate none of this. Like, there's no right or wrong. But for old fashioned sake, get a piece of paper out, write down all your goals from what, like, everything. Like, nothing is too small, nothing is too big. Write it all down, okay? That's step one. Step two, I want you to choose one to three goals only that excite you the most. I would recommend working on one goal at a time. But if you feel like you want to do one, two, three, that's fine. You can try it out that way. Let's say you do three and you feel like, oh my God, three is too much. Then take it down to two. If that's too much, take it down to one and so on. And you'll see how to do that in a little bit. Okay, so take the one, two, three goals from that like long list you have that excites you the most. We're going to start working on that one at a time. And then for each of those goals, I want you to write down all the steps you're going to take to achieve those goals. So that's step three. Okay, every step that you have to take to achieve that goal, you write it down. Now, um, you're going to work on those one at a time. May I would recommend like working on one goal for one to three months or however long it takes. It could take a year, it take more. That's fine. Like don't compare yourself to others. Okay, but what you're going to do is now that you've done the steps and you chose the one to three goals that excite you the most, that feel the best to you, like you're like, yes, 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 I can't wait to do this. I mean, for some, like, I mean, you're not ill that way, 100%, but like from the mo from all of them, the ones that excite you the most, okay? And then I want you to ask yourself this question. From a scale of one to 10, 10 being the highest, how confident do you feel that you will achieve this goal? If you said anything more than seven, then that's perfect because research shows that um, anything seven or higher means you're more likely to achieve that goal. Now, if you didn't say seven, that's okay. So this was what, step four, I think, right? So yeah, was it step four? I think so, okay. If not, forgive me, probably step five, but I think step four. So let's say it's not seven anyway. Um, then you ask yourself, okay, what can I do to make it a seven or higher? For instance, let's say your goal is to walk um, twice a week, right? And you chose six out of 10, 10 being the highest. Like, okay, how can I make that goal a seven or higher? So maybe you walk once a week or maybe once every two weeks or maybe once a month. It doesn't matter. I don't care how slow you go. It's better to go do something because time is passing anyways, okay? Um, so that's step four. Now, here's what I want to say. The reason why we want to build, you know, um, to keep these promises small is because you want to build self-trust. Self-trust builds self-love. Self-love obviously builds success, right? So everything, it, take, it can take time. You know, building muscles doesn't happen overnight. Same thing with building your intuition, building your self-trust. So please give yourself grace. It's going to be okay. I hope these tips help. I'll try my best to do so much more. Um, I didn't want to talk too much because um, this is probably already too much. So, okay. I love you all. If you try this, let me know. I'm sending you all so much love. It's going to be okay. Give yourself grace. You got this. I believe in you for real. Mwah.